good morning and welcome to another vlog on the channel as we can see i am still wearing my pajamas i got up super early today and got ready because chanel is releasing their spring slash summer collection today and i'm gonna go to dubai mall and check it out with you guys i also just have a couple of things to buy for my camera equipment like running errands in dubai mall so i'm gonna go there and then at one we have a nail appointment because it's actually been two weeks since i got the turquoise nails as you guys saw in my last vlog and they have not been holding up very well so i'm gonna go back to the salon which i always usually go to and just get a classy manicure like a french manicure also the weather in dubai is so gloomy recently you guys i don't know if you can see it it is obviously still very early in the morning could be that but these couple of days the weather have just constantly been looking like this the temperature is around like 20 degrees but this has been the last couple of days i honestly really like it because it's giving winter and cozy and we get to layer clothes which i'm really into so before i get dressed for the day this part of the video is kindly sponsored by white fox boutique you guys know how much i love white fox and regularly use their stuff so i'm gonna do a mini haul of everything i've got so stock white fox active and white fox swim and they also do have express worldwide shipping and if you guys live in australia new zealand or the us you can actually pay with afterpay when you are done and ready to check out that being said you guys let me hop into to show me the pieces i really want to show you this dress to begin with because i fell in love with it immediately on the website this is called get my attention long sleeve maxi dress in the color mocha they also have it in black the material of the dress is actually incredible it's so thick and it's double layered as well you guys this dress is so snatching to the body so smoothing and there's literally no lines or like weird things happening this is a size small the fit as you guys can see is perfect the only thing is it's kind of giving small steps so i'm not like able to move my body much more than this so maybe size up just so you're able to walk comfortably but other than that you guys i'm upset should we do like a party outfit so these jeans i've actually already worn and i already even stained them this top is the exact same color as my nails it's called caned heat bustier in the color cyan so it's a glittery little bustier top it's giving mykonos you guys this is the outfits on i am obsessed with it all in all 10 out of 10 but i will say the top is definitely a little too small for me notice that on the sides and it's also a little bit uncomfortable to put on but once it's on i feel like it's okay might have looked better with a pair of high denim or high jeans or high pants these jeans are kind of like a mid-rise boot cut jean and i'm 5'5 five five. the length is perfect on me this is it from the back. I feel like these denim are actually really, really good. I do recommend them. Everything is in a size small, including the jeans. I will say they're so stretchy. So if you're not sure, maybe size down because the stretch in these is actually really giving. One thing with white fox tops is that it will always give you a boob job for free. Well, guys, let's move on to our next outfit. I'm gonna show you this incredible yellow two-piece set, which I've already been wearing. It is this mini skirt with the matching top. They both zip up in the back. Color is really nice, but I feel like I'm super pale at the moment, so it's not gonna do it justice. Go ahead and put this on and show you guys how good it looks this outfit is so much my style if you guys know you know it's just the most perfect color the most perfect fit it's a little bit see-through so that's the only thing i would say other than that 10 out of 10 amazing for events parties dinners brunches picnics wherever you're going i love it anyway let's move on to our next outfit i have the same top in two different colors and the same skirt in two different colors these skirts are called show off a little sequin mini skirt size small and it's just a really fun skirt. I decided to put on the green skirt with the black top instead. What do you think? This is an incredible outfit, especially the tops. These are really wearable on a day-to-day. -day. It's such a basic and staple for your closet. The quality and material of these tops, 10 out of 10. The skirt is fun. It's vibrant. As you guys can see, it's not too short whatsoever. Like I can get away with wearing this with heels and it's not gonna be too revealing or anything. So yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I ordered this little bustier situation because I was imagining it with the skirt that I'm just wearing. Like the combination of colors, incredible. 
but when I received it I realized like Dana you actually don't like to wear such revealing clothes anymore I don't know I'm not sure about it the name of this top is feel the passion lace bustier hot pink so this is it from the back this is a halter neck dress with a little rose i hope you guys can see it these kind of dresses have been everywhere and i do really like the trend it is called the close your eyes mini dress so let me put it on and show you guys because this one i actually really like so this is the last dress i have and honestly you guys i'm really really into this trend white fox also have them with like roses on the side roses on the bum i'm gonna show you this dress a bit more close up the detail it's actually phenomenal. I'm so into this trend right now. And I really like that it's like shorter and longer. It's kind of mysterious and really feminine, girly. You can dress it up or down. I love the halter neck style. You guys, I'm honestly so into this. So that was all of the pieces for today's haul, you guys. I hope you loved them as much as I did. Do not forget to use my discount code Diana on the website. All of these pieces are going to be listed down below as well as my sizing and my discount code. So with that being said, you guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to make my way to the mall and I'm definitely not going to Dubai mall. I just thought about it like, Dana, do you hate yourself that much? No, I don't think so. So I think there's going to be so much people at Dubai mall. So I thought let's go to the Mall of Emirates instead. And also, I do have my nail appointment at one, which is in two and a half hour. Yes, I'm so late. My outfit took forever to decide today. It was just one of those days where I literally had to pull out my entire closet. And it's such a mess in the apartment now. So, uh, yeah, Philip, I'm so sorry if you see this. The apartment is a mess. Like, I clean it and then it just is a mess. And we're gonna put on some Khaliji music and make our way to the Mall of the Emirates. So, I also decided that I might actually pick up the Just Clue ring, the Cartier Just Clue. If you guys have seen my best slash worst purchases, then you heard me talk about the fact that I have the bracelet. I love it, but I don't know if I should get the matching ring because it might be a bit too matchy-matchy. But you guys were all like, it's amazing, Diana, you should go for it. So I want to go and have a look, try it on, and see if I like it. So I'm wearing my bracelet so we can see if it's going to go together. So that's kind of like the errands of the day, the luxury errands. But then I also, I need some like things for my camera equipment the sun is back out as you can see the sky is totally clear now gloomy weather is cute if you're staying in but now that i'm actually out i'm like really happy that it's sunny and i'm also stuck in traffic what else is new dubai i'm actually gonna be there in 20 minutes which is at 11 almost there is the burj khalifa guys look can you see it right there you can almost see it from everywhere in dubai i'm actually really like amazed by how tall it is the other day I found out, don't ask me why, I've literally lived in Dubai for almost two years and I just found out that it's 830 meters. Like that is incredible if you ask me. The fact that I've never been to the top of Burj Khalifa is also really embarrassing. So I feel like I should go there soon because I feel like the view is going to be incredible. Imagine living at the top of Burj Khalifa, is that even possible? Let me know down below because I'm so curious. Every time you go to the mall in Dubai, they will force you to take these kind of like perfume testers and I never say no. I do sometimes, but usually I take it because I feel like if I was working with whatever they're working with, I would be super sad if someone turned me down. Like, no, thank you. They're obviously rushed and like in their own world, but I would just take it so personally. But it actually smells really, really good. Wearing my Chanel Ballet flats. If you've seen my worst slash best purchases, then you know how uncomfortable these shoes are. Also, it looks like there's absolutely no cue to Chanel. Oh my god, can't believe I stressed because there's literally no one there. My god, you guys, I went in there so confidently and the collection is dropping tomorrow. I was told is that it's dropping today 24th but that was in dubai mall so apparently stop it so apparently it's different for the mall of emirates it's dropping tomorrow Old one because that's a, see, this is a big size i managed to secure the little just including it looked so good in real life so i can't wait to get back home and show you guys I'm finally out of the mall. <laughs> Imagine I went into Chanel. I'm like, wow, there's no queue. 
<laughs> Little did I know it's not dropping today in the Mall of Emirates. It's actually dropping tomorrow there. So to be honest, I wasn't pissed or anything. I just like fine better for me i'm not spending my coins so he's like okay do you not want to go to dubai mall and check it out my essay and i was like no like do you think i'm gonna like drive all the way there no like i'm not you know i'm not that kind of person who's like oh my god i have to have it like no if i didn't have it now it's just not meant to be i did pick up the justin clue ring which guys it was actually so amazing i don't know why i thought it was too matchy matchy to wear the bracelet and the ring together like if you wear it on different hands or even together i think it looks so nice and together with my love ring it actually looked phenomenal so i got that i'm gonna show you it once i get home but now i'm driving so i'm gonna stop vlogging and focus on finding a parking going there getting my nails refreshed Make them short, short, short. Good evening, babes. It is many hours later. After my nail appointment, I got super caught up with editing the vlog you guys have seen last week. So I was just busy doing that and I forgot to update you guys. But this is what I got. I just did the classic French manicure. I always go for this. I feel like it's just a really like safe card and it's super classy and I don't get tired of them. I'm really wearing this mask. I feel like my skin is soaked it all up because you can't even see it anymore. But it's basically this green mask that I received from Look Fantastic. I've never tried it before, but it's like a detoxifying one. I also received this Deep Sleep Heavenly Candle. Really excited to try it and light it in the evenings and kind of get in the mood of sleep. Figured I'm gonna leave you guys here and go to bed and continue the vlog tomorrow because actually there's not much more happening today. But I'm gonna go wash this off and then go to bed and I will catch up with you babes in the morning. Good morning, babes. I have just done my morning coffee and I thought we could do the unboxing of my Cartier piece that I picked up yesterday. It is still very early in the morning due to why I'm like very calm and collected. Throughout the day, I'll probably just be hyped and happy because your girl's living her Jolene era and I'm so like, I'm just happy and excited, but most importantly, very, very grateful. You guys know that I went to Mall of Emirates yesterday and I picked up the we all know, just in blue ring, and I thought let's do the unboxing together. So this is the little bag, they always package it so nicely. So my essay in Dubai is on holiday, and I hate when that happens because if you have an essay, then you get special treatment. But if your essay is out of the country or not working that day, then you know you're just gonna get someone random helping you out, and because you don't have a history with them, they just treat you like anyone else. But that's basically what happened. It wasn't like my essay wasn't working that day, so I just got a very like short, boring treatment. And I like being spoiled. Like when I go in there, obviously I got coffee, but I want to get my coffee, I want to have a good chat. Like I want to be there for at least an hour if I'm spending this amount of money. But I am so excited to see the piece and try it on. You guys are gonna see it before I do. Is she stunning? I think she is. This is the Just Unclu small ring. There's two different sizes. I got the thinner one. I feel like it goes better with my personal style. It's more petite and dainty. I don't like thick jewelry. I tend to go for like more cute things. I decided I wanted to wear mine there. I think it looks adorable, you guys. And it's actually so dainty and cute. I love the fact that it's the smaller one and I love the fact that I put it on this finger because I feel like if you put it here, it might look a bit too bold and chunky. But yes, I am obsessed. You guys let me know what you think of it. It was a little Cartier ring. I'm gonna start saying Cartier because every time I don't, people come at me and I'm like, bro, I'm not French. I got ready. My friend Amir is picking me up in like five minutes. We're gonna go to a cafe and sit down to have some work done. I've got my laptop with me and all my work equipment and also drink coffee. There's this new 
open cafe in Dubai called La Nena. You guys have all sent it to me in DM and like you have to try Dana. So we're gonna go there and also he just called me and he's like, Dana, are you aware of the weather? And I go, what's wrong with the weather? He's like, it's raining so much. So imagine, I just literally had to change my entire outfit and I also brought with me a hoodie in the bag and I'm wearing sneakers. That's actually very unlike me. I don't usually go for sneakers just like that but apparently it's like a rain storm outside so we're gonna have to work with this outfit lock the door although a lot of people actually don't lock their door here in dubai like there's cameras everywhere it's safe to say that no one's gonna come and rob you but i still always just do it i've had so many nightmares recently about trying to get into the apartment and it's so scary because I wake up and I'm like literally a full on winter outfit. <laughs> yeah, it's actually really cool, but it's not raining here. You can see that, right? It's in my bag. Literally, when you texted me, I saw your text. I looked outside the window. I'm like, yes. You're like, let's go drink coffee. Let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, you guys who was watching this from like Europe are probably like, bro, get over it. This is just rain. But like for us in Dubai, this is very rare. It happens like once, not once, but maybe twice or three times a year. Twice a year. Maybe. In the winter. Note that it's always in the winter, in January specifically. But I'm loving it. I need to put my hoodie on and then we're ready. And I thought I'd tell you guys how we know Amir. I feel like he has been... Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Bro, if, if this doesn't make it into the vlog, I'm rioting against it. <laughs> this has to be in there. Okay, so I feel like you've been in my vlogs a couple of times, right? I think I've been in your vlog twice. Twice. Or maybe thrice. But once was when we were at the steak place. The other one was when we were at that Thai place. And then the third one was uh, when you were here on your solo trip and when I was picking you up. Sure. Oh my god, your smoke smells shit. It's tobacco, bro. That's how it's supposed to smell. Anyway, so I thought I'd tell you guys how we know each other because you might be confused. Like, who is this guy randomly popping up oh, in random my vlogs? Dude. When me and Philip were looking for our first apartment in Dubai, he was actually the guy that helped us out. I was the broker. And they started broker? off as clients. Yeah, so we're clients. And this guy's like so lit. So he's being super funny while he's doing his viewings. And then... We just ended up like hanging out after work. Yeah, but I think I texted you guys like, oh, I'm here. And you guys were like, I don't know. I don't know how it exactly went, but it was pretty chill. We met at a coffee shop. First time? For the viewing, yeah. At uh, Lee Grand. Oh. And we all love food. So like that's our, I would say our burgers. hobby We together. all love burgers. Yes. And pizzas. Yes. And pastas. Anytime I'm like, bro, you want to go grab something? And like, even if he has the most important thing to do, he will drop in, he will be there and pick me up and we're going to go eat burgers. So <laughs> that's one thing with Amir that I love is like, he loves food as much as I do. Burgers over anything. And this time around, let's do cakes. Cakes? No. Yeah, why not? I'm trying to eat healthy, but you know. So this is the entry. I will say the cafe shouldn't be in this area. It's so like industrial, but cute entry. Let's go in and see. Oh my god. Yay. I did not expect that. I legit did not expect that. Oh my god. Thank you. Mm, we got food, we got desserts, and we got coffee. This is the name of the place, guys. How cute is that? Magnificent. Huh? It's beautiful. No, I hate it. Art is subjective. Art destroyed everything. The excitement. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine. I like, spent one hour doing this. Yeah. This is very therapeutic. And look at how nice and blendy that looks. 
This was more fun than doing that fucking car. going to a brunch at Eden. I think it's a newly opened place in Dubai. Uh, it's in downtown. The dress code is smart elegant and I feel like this one fits. But the other option I have is this pink number. Let me put it on so you guys can see it. Not that you guys can answer me, but I'm kind of feeling the pink, but I feel like the yellow is more put together in a way. This is a bit more cool. We need to leave in literally like two minutes and I still don't know what I'm wearing. Or I have one more option that could potentially work and it's this one. Take it because I'll be like you're 100% sure. Yeah, don't give us me and don't give us a little bit of a They're good, it's <laughs> good. Guys, we're just waiting for the lift. We're gonna go upstairs to the restaurant. I've been invited, so I've actually never been there. I think it's already open, but this is what I went with the blush abaya. So, this is the fit. We're trying to take pictures before, but we couldn't get a good one, and I'm just like a bit upset. I feel like whenever I don't get a good picture, like kind of ruins my mood. Hi, Hi. oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Is this newly opened? Yes, so nice. Brunch is finished, we just left. The food was honestly not the best, but I do think the desserts were really nice. And like the place itself was pretty yeah, good located. The place located itself and was and really pretty as well. It reminded me of kind of like a summer day in Stockholm in Innegård. We have something called Innegård in Stockholm or Sweden. Okay, we're out of there now. We're just taking a little walk in downtown. How amazingly blue is this water? Like I'm always so shocked. Obviously they put something in it to make it this blue. This cannot be natural, Philip, right? I think they use bleach or something. I might be wrong though. It's so nice. Really love the downtown area to walk, like around this water. I think it's so nice. You guys know I'm wearing heels today. Ooh. So it's not gonna be a long walk. We're just gonna take a couple of steps and then I think we're just gonna head back home. Wow. <laughs> Tourist. Philip is trying to be a tourist. I think I spoke about in this vlog how like because we live here we take it for granted a lot of the time that we like have all these things around us. We don't tend to do them, right? Like go to the top of the Burj Khalifa. Like your brother is done it and he doesn't even live here. But I feel like it's a really touristy thing to do. Good afternoon guys. We're back home. It is much later and I am going to be oiling my hair. I noticed ever since I moved to Dubai I have had a lot of hair loss and I'm not sure if it's due to the water here or maybe I've not had enough vitamins. It could be all the heats I'm using. There's definitely something because I feel like I used to have triple the amount of hair I have now. I've done some research and I have started to do a couple of things in my weekly routine that hopefully with the time is going to improve the quality and also the thickness of my hair again. So first things first, I'm going to be oiling my hair today. 
This is the flaxseed oil. Then I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this essential rosemary oil. I've heard great things about these two products specifically for hair growth, so I'm hoping for the best. We're gonna put that into our hair today and leave it on either for a couple of hours or overnight. I usually do overnight, but I feel like I wanna shower tonight. So we'll see about that. But let me mix the two products, massage it into the scalp. Comment down below if you've experienced the same thing with the hair loss in Dubai because both me and Philip really notice a huge difference from back in Sweden. And even this summer when we were there, both of us kind of felt like we got a lot of thickness back in our hair and now that we're back in Dubai we both experienced the same kind of hair loss again like literally there is hair everywhere in the apartment those of you guys who are following me on Instagram you might know that I try PRP treatments summer 2022 in Stockholm and I did four treatments all in all and I saw a huge difference I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys I did feel like I got a lot of hair back on the sides and i gotta say though it was very painful that was like the only thing i remember i was really worried about every time that i went to my sessions i was like oh my god it means so much pain i take a bit like that on my fingers and then i try to massage it into my scalp for a little bit and then i also put it on the rest of the link now oiled in my entire head of hair i'm taking this i don't know if it's actually a scalp massager brush or what it is but i have it i got it from my pr it's from Tai Luani. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to take this. You can use a brush or whatever. And I'm just going to massage my scalp. Believe it or not, this does a huge difference. Because it's stimulating the blood. And blood means hair growth. We don't grow our hair back until summer, guys. I am going to be so sad. I swear, all I want for summer 2023 is long, thick dark hair. I just want my hair to be so luscious and so healthy and I feel like the healthy hair is just better than any hair color or hair cut or literally just better than anything because healthy hair means you're taking care of yourself. You want me to brush your head as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm so shocked because I tapped so much. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to put it on too. You have to put it on too. Yeah, I feel like I'm losing more hair right now than I'm gaining. <laughs> like, look like at the floor. Snowing Philip's hair. Oh, shit. Honestly, like, can you tell them how much hair we've lost, both of us? Yeah, it's crazy. Like, like, literally, when I put my hair up, I feel like there's nothing to gel down. Like, you know, when I usually I put gel here and it's like. Skeleton. Literally. <laughs> Literally grinding. My oiling evening turned into a full on spa evening. I have shaved, I have scrubbed, I've done a hair mask, a face mask, all of it. I'm gonna lit a candle and just relax until I fall asleep and also finish off this vlog here. I'm so sorry if I scared you all. I do know I'm very scary at the moment. And with all that being said, you guys, I love you all. Take care of yourselves, make sure to put on a face mask or do some kind of self-care today. Hope you enjoyed this week's vlog and I will see you in my next.